Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, in today's video we are going to continue our analysis of gold. Uh, I'm not going to discuss silver, there is uh, still work needs to be done in silver. But most of all you can see that silver actually goes along with gold. So j just carry on with us. But in today's video we are definitely looking into gold, not only short term but also the long term as well. So first of all, uh, we are going to see the long term analysis using Elliott wave analysis. And uh, let me show you what I'm thinking on the longer time period frame. So this is a very long term uh, wave. Uh, I'm considering that the whole wave that we have seen is wave 1 and 2 that we have already completed. Wave 3 and wave 4 are going to be completed soon. We are in the early stages of wave 4 but wave 3 is definitely complete right over here. So we are looking for a pattern like this. I'm going to discuss this pattern and as soon as this pattern is complete then the long term wave that we have been waiting for uh, is going to begin and which is going to be very long term about 10-12 years uh, of prices movement upward. Uh, this is an estimate, do not worry about it. Once again, we do not have enough data right now where we can actually estimate it, but it's definitely going to be somewhere in the range around 5,500 to 8,500. So this is an, uh, just an estimate from the how, how prices, the how the previous move went up. So in wave 3, we can see the price is almost one from like $300 to uh, $1,800, $1,900. That's basically six times of it. So that's what I, I have used as a general principle right over here, that the bottom that we, we're going to see, we are going to see an approximation about six to seven times, or let's say maybe five to seven times of the bottom. So this is an approximation that I'm using. Uh, but we'll talk about it when, we, when the wave actually starts. The most important question is right now uh, the things at hand, which is uh, the current uh, labeling of Elliott Wave Analysis of gold. So let me turn into a weekly chart, and so we can actually see what's happening on a weekly chart. Okay. So this wave I'm moving on the side, so just in case it's not a mess. Okay. Uh, we are just moving on the side, and uh, let me get into a bit bigger. So the, the pattern that you're seeing, we are considering this as an A structure, a B structure, which is ended right over here, and I'm considering a 5F structure. Now 5F structure can unfold in a couple of uh, different variations, actually three different variations. Either wave 1 is an extended wave, the largest wave, either wave 3 is the largest wave, or either 5th wave is the largest wave. Normally 5th wave is the largest wave in a higher degree dimension, which we are seeing right now here. So that's where when fifth wave is the largest wave. In, in waves like this, we either look at wave one is going to be the largest wave or wave three is going to be the largest wave. So hence come two possibilities that if one wave one is going to be the largest wave, then this is the labeling that we are going to follow, which is wave one is going to start all the way from over here top, uh, creating a bottom somewhere around here and a pullback, and then wave three, four, and a five. But let's say that if wave 3 is going to be the strongest wave in that concern and we are going to consider this whole wave as wave 1 and wave 2 and then wave 3 is going to be the longest and then wave 4 and then wave 5. So I hope that you have seen this already but I'll move it uh, on a side. It's already on the side so to discuss the, the labeling on right over here. So let's have a look on, on the daily chart and see what's happening. Okay, Let me go over here. Okay, the pullback has happened definitely, quite a strong move that we have seen. But if you are looking this wave on its own, this wave on its own definitely it gives you surprise that maybe we are looking at a correction right over here too. But I'm still not ready to look at uh, this wave at its own. I'm actually looking this wave as a combination starting from over here. So we have the patterns wave A, wave B right over here and wave C right over here giving us an expanded flat correction and this portion of the uh, price movement beyond the actual previous wave impulse wave gives an indication that how much the pressure is going to be towards the bearish side once the price movement starts actually. So we are very very close to the completion of the uh, move. There is quite a possibility that we'll, move, we'll start seeing uh, prices going to decline next week there's a very strong possibility that we'll start seeing 
moving next week further down as well so be ready for it it if you're uh, bullish in that case just be ready for it if things go bad uh, you have an alternate plan so this is the beginning of the pattern and this is wave a this is wave b and this is wave c a lot of people are still not uh, ready to see uh, how oh, the prices are going to be on the negative side but this is what I'm looking at right now so we can definitely label this whole movement as an impulse movement and this whole movement as a corrective movement and once again as far as the labeling itself is concerned the higher dimension uh, the higher degree labeling is concerned I've already discussed it with you either there's a possibility this whole wave is wave 1 meaning this whole wave is wave 1 and this is wave 2 right over here and we are going to see the strongest wave uh, wave 3 and then wave 4 and wave 5 or the second possibility is that we are seeing wave 1 of 1 right over here and then wave 2 of 1 over here and then wave 3 of 1 and wave 4 of 1 and wave 5 of 1 in that case that will be uh, a stronger move uh, or wave 1 will be the largest move in that case we'll see still see a correction sizable correction after the completion of the wave we'll see our a correction right over here uh, since this is the line right next to it so my preference right now the, the way i'm looking at it is uh, that i it looks to me that wave 1 is going to be the strongest wave and then we'll see a correction and then we see wave 3 4 and 5 this is how i'm looking at right now either case whatever the play you want to do is uh, this is how i'm labeling i'm expecting that we are going to see negative price movement on the downside so i hope that it'll be uh, i'll be able to provide some assistance we can definitely look into uh, some of the um, uh, what's that called uh, gold mining stocks and silver mining stocks let's have a look at Wheaton precious metal which is wpm and then we can look at it let's have a look just if let me see if I can delete everything and we can see just see the price behavior okay I'll bring the weekly chart so we can actually start making a point that there is a possibility that we are going downward so once again um, you can see it looks like th it does not convince me that this is a whole correction right over here so this is more let me have a look one Matella let me show you Matella what Matella is doing I believe that this is TSX Matella in TXX Matella royalty I think one of yeah this is TSX uh, so this is this is in Canadian dollar and this is uh, MTA in uh, uh, US dollars all right so this is Amex uh, you can use either of the charts so you can see how uh, some of the miners are absolutely on the bearish side so let's have a look at GDX as well so GDX itself is showing weaker it has clearly moved from the top further down so it's showing more uh, of a weaker detail as compared to uh, Wheaton precious metals I believe Wheaton is going to go down as well so As you guys can see, when th right from the top, we are all we are seeing is uh, lower lows and lower highs as well. So I think that this is going to continue. This is giving me more uh, confidence in the bearish side. So let's have a look at NEM. Once again, if you look at NEM, uh, this is Newman Corporation. You can see clearly uh, that we are clearly more on the buy, uh, bearish side as compared to the bullish side so v10 i believe is way overbought right now so be really careful if you are uh, a buyer in v10 precious metals especially because it's way uh, way on the higher side from the bottom as compared to the bottom right over here so more v10 is going to get affected more when the price of gold falls further down but some of these stocks you can actually see GLD let's have a look it's an exact copy of actually the gold chart so there's nothing special to see uh, let's have a look at gold in euro so once again we can see that the price is the amount of a drop that's going to expect is quite massive it's quite massive this is we are consider we can consider this as an A a B and a C right over here so more depth is expected uh, in in euro as well in drop as well uh, in the price of gold as well let's have a look at 
Alex, are you in the British pound? A lot of people are going to suffer a lot. I believe that we are going to see uh, a heavy, heavy crash in the currencies as well. I mean, uh, gold in the amount of US dollars, in euro, in British pound. Uh, so a lot of it's going to happen uh, and a lot of people are going to suffer. Uh, this comes in line with uh, what uh, W. Degan said in that in the last, very last section of a bear market, prices move very, very swiftly. Very, very swiftly. So he used as an example of, uh, what he used as an example of is a square of 7, I believe. Alright, so 7 square is 49. And I think he goes up to the point where it says the prices will actually continue moving till uh, till the six sections of 49 which is 42 all right I don't know exactly mean what he says but it clearly indicates to me that till actually very last section of the bearish move a lot of time and I think he's pointing towards the expanded flat pattern so in which case we can see a wave A a wave B and a sharper decline if it happened is going to surprise a lot of people we are seeing more of it in US dollar uh, because in of these currencies we can see a higher highs are being formed so there is no uh, indication that the price is going to go on the very side I'm yet not uh, uh, you know impressed by the price movement in gold I'm still considering this as an expanded flat and I'm going to go with that till the top gets broken so a lot of you are thinking okay what's the what's the possibility that the labeling is wrong in that case I think so that the the price movement the top will not be covered in that case all right so this is almost a hundred dollar from left from the top uh, we are right now around two thousand dollars but is exactly to be around 1980 our top was around 2080 so a hundred dollar from the top is left and I believe that this particular movement especially bring in even more people cash even more people on the wrong side of the market so wish you good luck with your trading I hope that I was able to provide some assistance at least uh, an alternate wave count if you're absolutely bullish okay go with whatever your analysis says but at least you have an alternate wave count as far as gold is concerned silver is also expected to be bearish I do not have the exact labeling uh, for silver uh, but this is what I'm saying so a lot of uh, this is going to be continue for a good period of time initially I thought maybe that this is going to be end somewhere in the uh, around July to August in the next year but now we have to push it further uh, six eight months so that will probably bring in the first uh, quarter of 2025 so bottom is expected somewhere around the first quarter of 2025 so this labeling that we have to consider it has not considering uh, time into consideration so let's bring it and uh, that in case we have we can use some estimation we can see okay what is expected in terms of time okay let's bring it back to the first uh, March yeah so in so let's put it in March 2025 which is the end of the first quarter in 2025 so a sharper price movement is expected on the downside and we can believe that we are looking at an A B and C uh, use it as at least one alternate count wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye